LaCroix's Eye Doctor 2 Advanced Signal Integrity Tools provide the ability to add precision to signal integrity measurements by allowing the subtraction of fixture effects and the emulation of emphasis, serial data channels, and receiver DFE, FFE, and CTLE equalization effects, while at the same time maintaining fast oscilloscope processing speed on unlimited record lengths. As you can see, this eye diagram contains de-emphasis. I will begin by removing the de-emphasis from this signal so I can observe the eye without it. To do this, I click on Analysis, then iDoctor2. I am now presented with the iDoctor2 user interface. Notice that I have my signal input set to channel 1 minus channel 3 and the nominal bit rate set to 5 gigabit per second. Next, I will click on the Emphasis button. From this menu, I can either add or remove pre or de-emphasis. I will set it to remove 3.5 dB of de-emphasis and enable this feature. Notice how the eye diagram now has the de-emphasis removed. Next, I will de-embed the PCI SIG compliance baseboard and the attached cables to see what the eye would actually look like directly at the transmitter output. To do this, I click on the emulate slash de-embed button. From this menu, I have three choices. I will choose Emulate Channel slash Deembed Fixture. First, I will enable this feature. Then, to load the file that contains the S parameters of the fixture that I want to deembed, I will click on the Deembed Fixture button. Initially, this is set to Use Ideal Fixture, but I will uncheck this box and click Browse to select the S parameter file for my fixture. Clicking Apply will now deembed my fixture. Next, I will return to the Emulate slash Deembed menu and click on the Emulate Channel button to select the S parameter file for the channel that I would like to emulate. Again, I will uncheck the Use Ideal Channel button and click Browse to select my S parameter file. However, this time, I know that the ports in my S parameter file are different from those shown, so I must match the ports to my S parameter file. To make sure that I have done this correctly, I will click on the View Response button. Selecting S21 and Magnitude shows me the insertion loss from the S parameter file I have selected. I will now return to the channel menu and click Apply to emulate my channel. The channel S parameters that I am loading were measured on a vector network analyzer and are of 10 inches of FR4. The file is an industry standard touchstone format S parameter file. Notice how the eye diagram begins to close and the ISI increases when the channel is emulated. Lastly, I will emulate how a receiver that employs CTLE equalization, like a super speed USB receiver, would see this data. I will return to the main iDoctor2 menu and click on the equalization button. I will set the CTLE boost to 2 dB and enable this feature. Notice how the eye opening widens when the equalization is turned on. It's important to note that we used a 5 gigabit per second serial data signal for this demonstration. Faster data rates would show even more improvement in signal integrity when the iDoctor2 tools are used. The LaCroix iDoctor2 Advanced Signal Integrity Tools add precision to your signal integrity measurements, recapture design margin loss to test fixtures and cables, allow you to support PCI Express 3.0, SATA 6 gigabit per second, super speed USB, and 6 gigabit per second SAS, while providing fast eye diagram and jitter measurement analysis results using the de-embedded and emulated data on full record lengths.